Hello, hello, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. Thank you for being here, coming back. Or if you're new, hi, how are ya? Hope you stay. <laughs> um, I just went to first watch and got a morning meditation drink because I just, you know when you just, you feel like you just need a good for you drink? <laughs> it's delicious, it's, mm, it's so good. So I just got to the studio. I'm going to get in there and I guess I'm going to announce the giveaway, I guess, is the first thing I'll do today because I have to see you by myself, meaning I can talk because I can't talk when other people are there, or vlog. It's just awkward. Anywho, let's get into the studio and I will let you guys know about the giveaway, the PR box giveaway. So, all right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I always forget what my car looks like. Ah! Oh yeah. Turn on all the, look how cool that looks without any like overhead lights. All right, let's get it going. Hello, hello. So here is the PR box announcement and I'm super, super, super excited about this giveaway. So here's the thing. I will actually be giving away three PR boxes, one to Instagram, one to YouTube, and one to TikTok because I like to give people, you know, different platform options to win by. So before I get into the actual prize and everything like that, um, here, are, here are like the rules and guidelines or whatever for this giveaway. So the giveaway will start on February 18th, which is the day that you're watching this video. Actually, no, it's February 19th. I got my days mixed up. So the giveaway starts on February 19th, which is also the day that you're watching this. And then it'll end on February 21st on that Sunday on this coming Sunday and then the winners will be announced on Monday the 22nd and like I said there'll be three winners from Instagram TikTok and YouTube so the rules for this giveaway how to win is you have to be following all three platforms my Instagram TikTok and YouTube so and then on this video comment down below dream and color and then tag three people that you may think that would also like a book because I may throw in some extra stickers for the friends that you tagged. And then also on Instagram and TikTok, also comment dream and color and tag three people. And that's that's literally it. That that's that's pretty that that's it. That's the oh, you have to repost anything or anything like that. You just have to follow my TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, and then comment down below on every single one of the announcement videos. Um, dream and color, and then just tag three people. And that's it. Super simple. Super simple. So now for the actual exciting part of what you will actually get if you win. Okay, so first you'll get this little cute little box with holographic little dots on it. Obviously the front will have your address. I tried to make the box look cute instead of getting custom boxes because custom boxes are expensive. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you down and kind of show you what you will be getting. All right, so you'll get your box and then you open it, obviously. And there'll be a little circle here. I just don't wanna close her now because then I will rip it if I try to open it. Yeah, so, okay. Anyway, this over here is an eight by 10 print that you're able to unstick. And it's one of my favorite quotes. It's like pretty much the quote I live by. I wanna put this big on my wall somewhere, like as a mural, but I don't know where yet. But it it is the quote, I want you to make that dream become a reality because if you don't, you'll be working for somebody else to make their dreams become a reality. And you know, if that, if that ain't the truth. <laughs> so this is one of my favorite prints that I've ever made. So I really love it. So I figured let's put it in the PR box. Maybe it'll, you know, give someone motivation to make their dreams become a reality. So you'll get this print and then you come over here and obviously, like I said, there'll be a little circle, whatever. So you open it. This is not exactly what it's going to look like. You'll open it and this is the little thank you like PR box thank you card that I have kind of explains like the book and you know all of that so underneath this will also be a bag of stickers but there'll be five stickers that you get to choose and I will ask you once you win I will ask you what five stickers you would like and then that will be in here with my business card and then that'll go under here and then I also give you 10 fine line Crayola markers love these to death they're great 
They're much cheaper than the other markers that I love so much. They're the Stradler. I think they're Stadler. I'll link them down below, but those are the cut. Those are the markers that I love to use for my coloring book. So then obviously this will be all tied together, all nice in a bow and whatnot. But right now I don't want to tie it together because I don't know the stickers yet. You'll get these three things. And then of course you'll get the book. And also I will be hand signing, like autographing, signing and everything like that. And so this book is 40 different pages that you can color and then also they're perforated. So meaning you can rip them out and then, you know, hang them on your wall or whatever. So there's 40 of those. And then you also, at the end, you also get 40 waterproof stickers that come with the book. That was like a big part of my book like that I wanted to have for this book. I was like, I need stickers. It only makes sense if I have stickers. <laughs> and then there's just, you know, packing stuff, but it's not a crazy, crazy giveaway, but I'm not selling these PR boxes. I'm just giving the PR boxes to, you know, influencers and whatnot, but a lot of people who may not have a huge platform, they're like, how do I get a PR box? So I figured let's do a PR box giveaway. I've talked to my publishers about this and they were like, yeah, it's a great idea. So let's do it. So that is the PR box giveaway. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. I really, really love these PR boxes and it was like my first PR box ever. And if you saw my other video, which I will link down below, when I was trying to design this PR box, I was so stressed out. I could not make up my mind. It was such a chaotic video, but I love how it turned out. and. I I just sent out 16 more yesterday. I'm gonna send out five more today, hopefully, if I can get to the post office. So I love, love, love them, and it's just crazy, it's crazy. One, I have a coloring book that also I found in Barnes and Noble. I was able to like go into the into the store and find my book, which is crazy. I'm, you know, the book is a number one bestseller on Amazon, which is crazy. Oh my just ignore my hair, please. It's gonna go up as soon as I'm done with this video. <laughs> and we're also currently working on another project with, um, oh, I'm so excited. We're just gonna keep knocking out projects left and right. So yeah, I mean, if you don't win the giveaway, you can still get the book for sale on Amazon, on Barnes & Noble, Target, Walmart, soon to be more stores, but I'll let you know about that when that happens. The link is always down below if you actually wanna buy it on Amazon. I think it's $15 or like $14.95. You get 40, 40 designs and 40 waterproof stickers for like 15 bucks. And it's on Amazon, so you literally can get it in like two days. <laughs> It's crazy. So thank you so much. If you have already gotten the book, thank you so much. Like seriously, it was like my first, I mean, other than the toddler coloring book, it was like my first huge, huge thing, like huge thing. I worked on for like 10 months on this book and now I'm about to work 10 more months on a new project, which ugh, I'm, so excited. I'm so excited. I can't, I, I'm sorry. I can't tell you, but I'm very, it's very exciting. You think this one's exciting? Just wait. Just wait. So yeah, I hope you guys enter and I will see you on all the other platforms. But as of right now, I'm gonna get to my busy, busy, busy day of work. I'm gonna put up my hair, put on some music and get my to-do list going and figure out what I have to do because Every day is the same, but also every day is so different. All I do is come to the studio. I don't go anywhere else. I don't do anything <laughs> except work, but I love work so much. And I'm so, so lucky to have the studio that I have that I'm able to leave. And you know, it's safe here because it's just me or it's just me and my mom, you know, it's super safe here. So if I didn't have my studio this past year, I would have just fallen into a hole. It's just like go home, I come to the studio. Go home, go to the studio, that's it. So, but I wouldn't change it for the world. Anywho, before I start rambling on like I always do, if you're new to the channel, you realize I do that. Also, if you're new to the channel, hello. Thank you for being here, even if it's only for this giveaway. <laughs> I hope you stay. I post every single day at 10 o'clock in the morning, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a new video every single day. Some days are crazy, some days are super mellow. You know, it's my daily life of running my own business, being my own boss. I dropped out of college when I was 20. Yeah, yeah, I dropped out of college to run my own business seven years ago. Oh my God, I'm gonna be 27 next month. Oh no! No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm way further in life than I thought I would be, business-wise, not personally. <laughs> yeah, I, um, you know, this is just, I like to document my life, so. 
whether people watch it or not, I'm gonna keep documenting it because I like to look back at see where I was with my business, especially my business because my business is my entire life, especially right now because we can't do anything or go anywhere. <laughs> if you're interested in staying and coming back every day and checking out my life while running a business and having employees and all of that stuff, stick around, I hope. Okay, let's get this day going. I got lots to do, and I hope you stay. Yay, I'm so excited. I love giveaways, yay. Cool, so okay, just ignore. So I have the rainbows on my window, and it goes right onto my desk, so if that video kind of looked weird because of the rainbows, I'm sorry. But today I got a pack today. I have to finish up doing the mosaic sides, but I have to do each side of the letter. Like I have to do one side and let it dry, then the next side and all that. So I'll be doing that within, like throughout the day. And then I have three wooden letters. Well, I have the um, ampersand sign, the and sign. Um, I have that one and then a B and a P. So I have to do those today. And I got new pens yesterday, thank gosh. And then obviously another mosaic side and then I'm trying to brainstorm all the murals the rest ones that I want to do because I would like to start that possibly tomorrow or the next day. And then just emails and some returned address ones and I already did the PR box video so actually I can do that. And then I'm working with a company called Pry Bites on a project and then hopefully I can get five more PR boxes put together and mailed out tomorrow. So that is my day. It is already late in the day so I gotta get working. All right, so I just finished this edge and goes all the way down and I was gonna do up here But then I realized that if I start up here the spacing might not be correct when it gets down there And I can't do down there until I flip it over So I'm gonna let this dry for a few hours work on some stuff some other stuff like the wooden letters and then come back to this and Probably do this part. So my hands are all sticky <laughs> I finished all three of them and these are available on my website so you can pick any letter in any color I think there's like 15 different colors but this person wanted a pink P a gray ampersand I think it's called <laughs> and a purple B for her daughter's bedroom so I hope she loves it and I'm so so happy with how they came out and I think it's gonna look really cute on a wall or a shelf or whatever she plans on putting it Okay, so unfortunately I ran out of pieces. So I have three pieces left, but they're they're kind of broken. So I don't want to use them because I have to get a whole pack, another pack anyway. I was so close. I just had to do that and that was it. I was so close, but that's okay. Cause I wanted to get more anyway, because I am obsessed with how this is turning out and I want to do like a whole table. I want to do like a bunch of things and I really, really like the holographic part. These ones right here. So I just think it looks so cool. It just looks so cool. I don't even know where I'm going to put it, but I'm really excited about it. So I will just order more off of Amazon and finish it when they come in, which I think they're prime. So fingers crossed they'll come in quickly. So I just ordered more of the stones, but they won't be here till Sunday and we have to grout Monday. So hopefully they get here like early Sunday and then I can finish it and then let the stones dry overnight and pretty much throughout the entire day on Monday and then we'll grout Monday evening. They're prime, but like not prime prime apparently. Ah, uh, it looks so cool. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to add black grout to this. I think it's gonna look so cool. <gasps> I'm so excited. This literally is my new hobby, even though I wouldn't have done this unless I had a class. <laughs> 
because I was like, oh, it's a class. It has to be part of my schedule. I couldn't just willingly do this. I don't have that kind of time, but I'm obsessed with it and I want to do something huge. So we'll see. We'll see if that ever happens. On to the next thing. All right, so since it's already eight o'clock, which did not realize, I'm going to spend a little bit of time before I start editing my vlog for the night. What I normally do is I take a photo of whatever wall that I want to paint on, and then I sketch out what my design is on my iPad. So that's what I'm going to do for this wall because I would really, really love to start this wall possibly tomorrow, depending on what my schedule is tomorrow. So I'm the idea of what I want to do is bring some of these black designs over here and kind of off here and maybe possibly behind the TV a little bit, a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Off here so it looks like it's supposed to be connected with that, but it's not going to connect if that makes sense. And as for over here, I think I explained this in my, um, my studio update. I want to do a little like arched painting color blocking over here, but whatever color I choose is going to be an exact color off of this Pantone wall. So I think it'd be kind of cool for it to match exactly of a color on the wall. I think that would be kind of cool. So I'm either, I'm leaning toward possibly this yellow, the 108, or, or like a bright pink. I don't know. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sketch it out and then I can really see what I like. But then also it's like, I like this pink. It's like, ah, oh, do I do pink or do I just do yellow? Just like go for it. I might like, I might like yellow. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'll sketch it out and that's the only way that I can really truly see. So I need some more color, even though it's, you know, chaotic and this is super colorful right here. I want some sort of color brought on these walls. So that is my plan for probably the next hour or so because I, oh, I want to, I want to, finish this paint job this week for sure. So I'm gonna go do that. So I took a photo and now I'm just gonna put it on my iPad and sketch it on my iPad. So, okay, this is kind of what I came up with. I usually take photos in this mirror. So I went to see what it looked like if I were to add the design right there. So this is possibly what it could look like. Is it too much? Is it too much? I think, I don't know, I think. But like it looks really cool with the picture and like the, you know, you know. So then like this is what it normally looks like and this is what it could look like. Is it too much? I don't know. <laughs> and then this is kind of like a photo with the mural that is there now, like what it could look like. Ugh. But then see, like, is, I don't know if it goes together. Is it too much then? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> and then also I was thinking right here, since there's nothing here, I have, you know, those circle mirrors that I was thinking. Maybe I put three circle mirrors because the reflection in the mirror will actually end up being this design, which could be really cool. So whenever you look at the mirror from like this angle, you can see design. So it kind of looks like there's designs there, even though it's just a mirror, if that makes sense. Or it could be too much. I don't know. I don't know. Like I started with just like a little bit and then I kept going and then I kept going and then I kept going and this is what I came up with. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, I don't know. It, it might be too much. I don't know. <laughs> and then as for the other side that I was talking about, this is like where um, my employees check in and check out like clock in, clock out. So I was thinking possibly yellow or like a, like a magenta pink, something that will match, like I said, one of these Pantone colors. On Instagram, as of right now, let's see. So anytime I have these crazy ideas, I always like to ask my Instagram or TikTok, but my Instagram has like the polls, so I can show pictures and be like, is this too much? And then they vote yes or no. So as for the black and white, my Instagram story says 70, percent is the right amount and 30 percent is too much so i mean the majority of people they they like it and then also i showed in this picture and 66 people say it's the perfect amount and 34 people say it's too much and by people i mean percentage not people <laughs> And then I went ahead and explained the whole mirror thing and everything like that. And then I did this. I was like, now for this area, yellow or pink. And people are saying 59% pink and 41% yellow. So personally, I think I like the pink, like the bright pink. Not this pink, but like more of like a magenta or like a purpley pink. 
may be kind of cool. I know a lot of people like yellow and gray together, but I don't know if I like yellow and gray together. But then it's like, do I do a teal? But no, I think I went in that corner, I want it to like be a bright color. So either yellow or pink, and I think I'm going with pink. But as for the black and the, the black designs, but also it's like, I thought the other corner, you know, what I actually painted, I was like, ugh, is that gonna be too much? But now I love it, so like, should I just go for it? <laughs> <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if it's too much or not and I I really like it I really like it, but like I'm just worried that once you look at the whole thing it might be too much I don't know <laughs> Because I would love to just start it and then finish it literally this week Look, this is what happens whenever I put my hair in a bun. Also, I need my hair done so bad. Look how, I have like an ombre hair or whatever, but look how I haven't got my hair done in like over a year. I usually get it done for my birthday, which is literally in a few weeks. It's fine, it's not happening. <laughs> I'll sleep on it, I'll see what my, I posted a TikTok about it too. So we shall see. And the majority of people, there's been like a few, like so many people are like, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Then there's obviously there's people are like, oh, that's way too much. But like, that's the thing. Like everyone who says that it's like too much says like, oh, like it's too busy. And I was like, do you not know what my art looks like? <laughs> like, this is what my art is. This is, you know, I, I'm so used to having everything be so busy. And like, I just wanted to like look, I don't know. I just wanted to look like I threw up everywhere. <laughs> Creatively. I think like the more I look at it, the more I look at this photo, the more I love it. And my mom's gonna think I'm crazy. Cause she thought I was crazy for the black designs in the corner. But like, and then someone's like, you might as well just do the whole wall. <laughs> but I'm not gonna do the whole wall. I'm not gonna do the whole wall. Cuts to me doing the whole wall. No, no, no. I'm not gonna do the whole wall. But I am gonna bring black and white. I mean, black designs right there and on this wall because I, you know, as you know, I film a lot right here and I need a cool backdrop. And I think some black designs back there. Also, this is kind of the <laughs> the backdrop that I use whenever I'm on Zoom calls. So it'd be kind of cool to have like a cool looking backdrop because right now it's just a gray blob and I hate it. <laughs> That's the predicament I'm in right now because I would love to start it tomorrow. So, or at least sketch it tomorrow. I definitely need more black paint, that's for sure. Okay, I don't know, okay. Uh, I don't know, I'll think about it. I'll think about it, I'll sleep on it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. If you ever, I think I said this before, if you ever want to, um, you know, be a part of my decision making on my Instagram stories and whatnot, and my TikTok, just feel free to, I post them on my Instagram story every single day. I pretty much vlog on my Instagram story, but like just photos and stuff like that throughout the day. Cause obviously I don't, tic I don't really TikTok vlog anymore just because I, I wanna be more into the actual vlog vlog but I actually take a lot of time to do. <laughs> so I love it. Ooh, this is bad. It's probably too much. It's probably too much. Uh, but it's fine. I think, I think I'll sleep on it. Like I said, I'll definitely sleep on it but I'll probably end up doing it if we're gonna be honest. So I'm glad I got that done. It's 10.30 now which I didn't expect to work on it that much. I just kept changing my mind. Classic me for this, but this is why, you know, anytime you wanna do something permanently, like even whenever I get tattoos, I will take a photo of whatever body part that I wanna get a tattoo on and then I'll draw the tattoo to make sure I actually really like it. I did that for a few of my friends too. I was like, you might wanna know before, you know, you get it. So it's a great thing about iPads. You just take a photo and then you can draw on the photo. So. Um, right now I'm going to just edit for a few hours and then go home. So I will tune back in after I edit, I guess, and then do a little outro. So I just keep looking at it and I love it. I love it. Oh, it's bad. Ooh, do I do it? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. Probably. What is my hair? <laughs> um, so I just got done with the first edit. Oh, wait, I don't even show you this. So, okay, these are all of my mouse pads that I saw on my website, and this is this shelf to this shelf is what, you know, this closet came with, but I told my mom, I was like, hey, I think it'd be really cool if we could use these shelves, but the problem was the shelf was this big, so I asked her if we could somehow make smaller shelves. So she cut all this wood and put this up, and now everything is so organized, because before it was like, I don't know if you remember from my other vlogs, but they were like stacked up like that, and it was really hard to see them, so I was like, I would really like to have 
have them laying like flat so you can see the designs and then we're gonna put little labels because you can't really see the designs up here. But it looks so much better. My mom literally can do it all. She can do it all. But what I was going to say was I finished the first edits of my vlog because I have to go back and add like little uh, title pages in like you know the date of the day and all of that stuff but um i have to actually head home because it's starting to snow and i don't feel like getting stuck here so i'm going to take my laptop home and my ipad home so i can do the thumbnail when i get home so there should only be like maybe a half an hour left of edit on this vlog and then i have to export it and upload it and all that so i will do that when i get home hopefully i'm not snowed in tomorrow but anytime i know that it's gonna snow overnight in pittsburgh i always bring my laptop and my ipad home because there's a lot of stuff that i could just do from home obviously i can't paint my studio from home <laughs> but i could do like my emails and design more stuff and just you know get back to clients and stuff like that so um i always like to make sure i'm able to work from home if that needs to be happening hopefully not and luckily i live very 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 close to my studio so it's not like i have a long commute or anything so but my dad always texts me he's like hey it's snowing because obviously like i keep my windows closed so i never really know what the weather is until i open my door so luckily my dad lets me know if the snow is coming down and i live on a hill and my driveway's on a hill so it's like preferably not trying to get home when the roads are bad so gonna go home and finish editing at home and i will talk to you when i get there hopefully it's not bad first got to turn off all the lights For some reason this light switch is literally just to that light <laughs> nothing not any of the other lights and also it's super dumb but this light okay this light only does that side but the problem is there's a light switch over there and when you turn that on it doesn't turn this one on so when i come in it turns these ones on and then the only way to turn these lights on is if i'm over here so i don't know but i can i can turn off the oh do you hear that they're vacuuming so cool i love the way my studio looks when okay see like i think it would be really cool if the black was right there <sighs> okay i'm probably gonna do that let's be real let's be real see i think that looks super cool come on <laughs> like the black right there yeah 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 <laughs> it's fine okay cool let's go home so i put the defrosters on and i think it's funny because obviously it only defrosts where the windows are but i always forget there's windows up there <laughs> because of the doors oh it's cold it is cold it's cold 